make it here easy. Um, the word could be our New Year's episode. Oh, we're recording. <laughs> Oi pessoal, aqui é a Alexia. Bom, antes de começar, eu queria falar umas coisinhas aqui com vocês. Nós estamos preparando coisas muito bacanas para 2020. Então, a cada mês, nós teremos um challenge diferente, ou seja, um desafio. Pelos 12 meses do ano que vem, nós vamos ter desafios sobre temas específicos que vão te ajudar a melhorar o seu inglês. Por exemplo, nós vamos ter challenges sobre phrasal verbs, sobre prepositions e como aprender gramática sem precisar usar livros didáticos. Vai ser muito legal, a gente está super animado com isso e queremos muito, muito, muito que você participe. Então, se você é sério com o seu inglês, você deve participar dos challenges. Para saber mais sobre esse e muitos outros assuntos, vá lá no inglesnecru.com. Ok, now on with the show. Você que ainda não aproveitou e não entrou lá no Cambly ou baixou o aplicativo do Cambly e já fez a aula de graça que a gente oferece aqui, vai lá que ainda dá tempo de fazer isso. O que, que você está esperando? Dá para fazer de casa? Dá para fazer do celular? Dá para fazer do trabalho naquele tempinho que você tem? É só ter internet ligada, um computador, um tablet ou um celular na sua frente e tudo certo. Tem professor nativo 24 horas por dia te esperando por lá. Então, de novo, cambly.com, Cambly se escreve C-A-M-B de bola L-Y ou aplicativo do Cambly, coloca lá nos minutos grátis o nosso <risos> cupom inglês no Icaro Podcast. Dessa forma, você pode aproveitar e testar tudo aqui que você aprende no inglês no Icaro Rádio e começar a falar, né, gente? Que é o mais importante de tudo, ultrapassar essa barreira. Se eu não te convencer até agora, em dezembro, é a minha missão nesse mês é te convencer, tá? Então é isso. Inglês no Icaro Podcast é o nosso cupom. Now, on with the show. Hey guys, so we are on a walk in the woods with Wheezy, Wheezy Dog. She is taking a little bit of a rest, and I'm here with Alexia. Say Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. I'm so glad that it's a sunny day. It's so beautiful. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of hot, which is great. It's a nice surprise. Yeah, December. Yeah. So, Alexia, last year we did kind of a little activity that... I don't know how effective it was, but I thought it was kind of fun. So we had a word of the year for each of us. And the idea was the, this word would kind of be like a theme, something that we could think about that would help guide us through the year. Do you remember your word last year? I didn't, but you remembered me. <laughs> I reminded you. I, I, you reminded me. No, you remind me. I reminded you. Yeah, you reminded me. Which was adapt, to adapt. To adapt. Yeah. So what was your idea with to adapt? I think that I already knew that 2019 would be a very, very complicated year for yeah. a lot of reasons. So I would have to adapt for many reasons. Yeah, it was definitely a transitional year for both of us. So kind of go with the flow. Do you think you did a good job with adapting? I think I did. I think I, I'm still doing. I think you crushed it. <laughs> so do you remember my word of the year for 2019? I don't. It was movement, I believe. Which makes sense with adapt as well. Yeah, I think I was kind of on the same vibe as you that we were going to physically be moving a lot and traveling a lot to kind of transition. But I was also thinking about um, just kind of movement of my physical body, my thoughts, doing different things. And yeah, we moved a lot. We moved a lot. Yeah. And not only speaking about like traveling, 
also about us, our movements and the way that we should do stuff and how do we work better? How do we have a relationship better? How do we have a better relationship? Yeah, better relationship. And how do we take care of ourselves and... Yeah, yeah. Metaphorical and physical and literal movement all at the same time. So do you want to do words for 2020? Yes. Well, it's a new decade. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I think that for 2020, which would be the first year of a, of a new decade, and one second, because Wheezy is stuck. Do you want me to take Wheezy? No, that's fine. I think that the word for me would be calm. Calm. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Cool. So what does that mean to you, calm? Because I want to be... 2019, I want to be the opposite of 2019. Speaking about the amount of stuff that we have to do. Yeah. Not that I don't want to travel, not that I don't want to do new stuff, but I, I want to do it very, very calmly. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's totally natural to kind of not have the opposite reaction from the year before, but kind of to have a little bit of pushback in the other direction. So 2020, you want to be a little more calm, relaxed, not only mentally, but also doing less stuff. Yes. What about you? Cool. Yeah, I think mine's pretty similar. My word of the year for 2020 is going to be depth. Okay, profundidade. Profundidade. You could say profundity. We have that word in English, but we don't really say that very often. <laughs> so I was kind of thinking the same thing as you, Alexia, that 2020 was a year of movement. And to be honest, I'm tired. No, 2019. 2019, yeah. I'm kind of tired. So my idea was depth was very similar to you that I wanted to do less things like I don't want to be running around just doing a ton of different things all of the time so focus on less things but focus on doing them better be more focused on a small amount of things and really go deeply into them yeah does that make sense yes yes it does but if you had to pick up one very good thing of 2019... If I had to pick? Yeah. One very good thing of 2019. What that... What would that be? What would that be? I don't know. Do you have one? One second. Are they hunting Wheezy? No, they're fine. They're fine, right? Okay. Yeah, there are some hawks, some birds of prey. Uh, sort of a falcon, no? Yeah. Lindos, por sinal. Mas muito perigosos. <laughs> yes, I would say that for me, the most important thing that I could pick from 2019 is the way that I was able to deal with all different kind of situations. So the way you could handle difficult yeah. situations... Not only difficult, but all the different kinds. Yeah, you're 30 years old, you're an adult. And for me, it was the most important part. Yeah. And starting therapy. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that, so I didn't want to take yours. <laughs> but yeah, I'd probably say now that we are 30, really trying to take care of our mental health, not only our physical health, but just trying to be mindful and conscious of how we are doing emotionally. That was a big thing for 2019, and it will continue to be a big thing for 2020. Yes, because it's part of the process. Cool. Okay. So if you guys want to send us your word of the year, we will try to chico bra. <laughs> and cool. You want to keep walking? Yeah, let's go. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. 
Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do nosso Inglês de Necro Rádio. Como sempre, vou pedir para você deixar sua review, deixar o seu e-mail no nosso site inglêsdenecro.com, ficar de olho nas novidades que a gente sempre manda, nossos recursos grátis, enfim, todas as novidades que a gente puder, a gente vai estar compartilhando com vocês, principalmente por e-mail. Então, é isso. Eu quis aqui dar esse recado. Como sempre, obrigada pelo suporte e a gente se vê no próximo episódio, tá bom? Bye!